Hello everyone and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we will be creating this cute bouncing animation in Blender. But if you are new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell notification, so that you do not miss any video that I upload. So let's get started. Start by deleting everything from the scene. Add in a UV sphere with segments 16 and rings 8. Scale it down. Now tab into edit mode. Remove a part of the sphere from the bottom. Press Alt and select the edge loop at the bottom face and press F to fill the area. Add in a subdivision surface modifier. Add in loop cut at the bottom face using Ctrl plus R to maintain the shape. Also enable shade smooth. Tab out of edit mode. Add in an icosphere. This will be the eyes. Scale it down and position it. Add in a subdivision surface modifier. Enable shade smooth. Also add in a mirror modifier. Position it. Add in another UV sphere. Press S and scale this down and press G and Z and move it in Z axis. Tab into edit mode. Select the bottom half and press G and Z and move in Z direction. This will be our main body. You can play with the shape as long as you want. For the hands and legs. Add in UV spheres and press G and drage the half area to the desired size. Add a mirror modifier so that you just have to do the one side only. You can play with the scale as well. For the ears add cylinders rotate in X by 90 scale it down in Z axis. Position this accurately. Add in loop cuts in the cylinder so that the ears do not lose shape. Scale this down on Y axis. For the eyes duplicate the previous eyes and position them. Scale them down as well. Make any adjustments to body if needed. Now select the eyes. Shift select the body. Press Ctrl plus P. Select set parent to object keep transform. Also apply the mirror modifier for eyes. Do this for both. Select the main subject. 
Position it in a height you need. Press I on frame 1 to insert a location keyframe. Go to frame 20. Press G and then Z and bring it down to a depth such that it goes a little inside the ball. Press I to insert a location keyframe. Go to frame 40. Copy the keyframe at frame 1 and paste it. Select the ball. Add in a new shape key by pressing twice on the plus icon next to the shape keys. This adds a new key named key 1. Now tab into edit mode. Select some vertices at the top and enable proportional editing. Press G and then Z and move it downwards. Make sure that the shape aligns with the position of the character at the time of bouncing. For that you can also go to frame 20 and align it. So that it feels like the character is bouncing off this ball. Now tab out of edit mode. Go to frame 17 and press I on top of the value 0 of shape key insert a key frame. Go to frame 18. Set the shape key value 0.5 and insert a key frame. Go to frame 20 and set the value to 1 and insert a key frame. Go to frame 22 and set the key value to 0.5 again and insert a key frame. Go to frame 25 and set the key value to 0 and insert a key frame. Now play the animation. You may have to slightly adjust the value of the key to match your animation as the size will be different. Now select the cute little character. Add a new key by pressing on the plus icon twice. Tab into edit mode. Position the hand as it is raising to the top. Make sure to turn off proportional editing. Make sure the hand stays in the exact position at the time of doing so. Make the legs to a stretched sitting pose. Rotate and position the legs accurately go to different views to make sure. Tab out of edit mode. Go to frame 1, set the key value to 0 and press I by placing the cursor on top of the value to insert a key frame. Go to frame 10, set the key value to 0.5 and insert a key frame. Go to frame 17 and set the key value to 1 and insert a key frame. Go to frame 27, set the key value to 0.5 and insert a key frame. Go to frame 30 and set the key value to 0 and insert a key frame. Play the animation.
Press the plus icon once again and add another shape key called key 2. Tab into edit mode. Adjust the hands to get a hands down pose. Tab out of edit mode. I'm moving the keyframe for the shape key from frame 10 to frame 15. This makes the animation flow more relevant. Go to frame 27 and set the key value to 0.5 and insert a keyframe for key 2. Go to frame 33 and set the key value to 1 and insert a keyframe for key 2. Go to frame 39 and set the key value to 0 and insert a keyframe for key 2. Now add in a plane. Scale it and position it. Tab into edit mode. Extrude the back end by pressing E and then Z. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Add loop cuts to maintain the shape. Add in a camera. Set the depth of field. I am going with 95 millimeters. You are free to choose yours. I'm not going through the materials as they are simple principled BSDF shaders only. So leave a comment on what you think of the video or any suggestions. Make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and ring the bell notification icons, so that you do not miss any video I post. Thank you all for the support. And keep blending.